Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is David Hyman, your tour guide in Israel. Uh, join me today at the Judean Desert in Israel at this beautiful sunrise over the Dead Sea. We're waiting for the sunrise. It should rise any minute now. There it is. The sun is rising over the Dead Sea and the Judean wilderness. We're going to do a tour today on these mountains. Look where we are. There's Mitzada, Masada. Uh, there's the moon. And these are the majestic mountains of the wilderness of Judea, Midbar Yehuda. That's where we stayed last night. That's where we camped at one of the campsite at the mouth of Wadi Tzeilim, Nachal Tzeilim. Okay, so we're going to climb one of these mountains and then end in the Arugot stream in, the, in, uh, in Gedi Nature Reserve. That's the plan for this morning. Just to give you another quick look at how beautiful it is the moment of the sunrise over the Dead Sea. Those mountains are in Jordan, the mountains of Moab. Yeah, we stayed here, the Judean Desert Nature Reserve Wadi Tzelim Campground. Uh, these are all the rules and regulations. There's like a map uh, where the parking is allowed and where you can pitch your tent. Let me show you our plan. It's part of the En Gedi Nature Reserve. So from Kibbutz En Gedi, we're going to take the green trail, Suya ascent up to Mount Suya and then walk down Isim ascent. Shiri, where are we going? Where are you going? Actually, I don't know. Maybe up there. <laughs> I hope I'll make it. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> <laughs> so in Gedi was the border with Jordan for 19 years. So the green line passed here. There's still an old sign. Attention border area passing this sign is forbidden without permission of the youth hostile by order and there is the bunkers where the army used to sit so above this area here was Jordan this is Kibbutz en Gedi green path is our path and down here is Wadi Arugot look at the birds ravens so Kibbutz en Gedi was founded right after the War of Independence, 1949. Uh, they were the only access here was by boat. So two boats with Palmachniks came from Sodom, docked here, and from that day on, this was the border of Israel. Kibbutz En Gedi has a guest house, a hotel. Ah, uh, they have a spa. Great spa. Have a great spa, Shiri. Yes. You prefer the spa than going. To hiking. Oh, so like <laughs> Sleeping in that tent. Here's a Deep, huh? Hi everybody, we I'm Michael. I I'm Eli. We come from Tel Aviv this morning and we like hiking in the desert. And this is this is our spot, you know, we, we choose uh, different paths and we love the nature here. That's the main reason. Yeah. This week Michael told me that the Judea Desert calls him. <laughs> he really wanted to go this week. Yes, we have a limited uh, season yeah. to, to visit and we are towards the end, so we want to make the most of it. Great. Absolutely. Thanks so much, guys. Enjoy your Thank hike. You, David. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure to meet you here. <laughs> Shiri. <laughs> and Shiri. <laughs> So climbing up this steep trail, I can't stop thinking 
if this was the exact path taken by Babata, the young Judean woman and her son, 2,000 years ago. Let me share this story and its dramatic and tragic end. So in the 1960s, Israel launches an archaeological survey of the many caves of the Judean desert. The survey is directed by archaeologist Yigael Yadin. Yadin's team heads for two caves on the cliffs of Wadi Hevel, just three kilometers from Ein Gedi. The natural caves are in the middle of a 200-meter cliff. The access is only possible with ladders and ropes. The excavations revealed that the two caves, now named the Cave of Horrors and the Cave of Letters, were both used as hiding sites by Judeans from Ein Gedi. During the Second Jewish Revolt against Rome in the years 132 to 135 AD. The Cave of Letters earned its name when Professor Yadin's team revealed two groups of ancient letters hidden in the cave. The first group are letters written in Hebrew. They are orders from the commander of the Jewish revolt, Shimon Bakohova, addressed to Yonatan, who was probably his officer responsible for the defense of Ein Gedi. Deeper in the cave, in a hole under two rocks, Yadin's team found what is now known as Babata's archive. This Judean second century women, woman, escaping from the Romans, took her most valuable possessions with her. In a straw woven basket, she placed a few knives, a mirror, a wooden box, her house keys, and her most beautiful kitchen ware. It gets better. In the sack, she also placed 35 documents wrapped in a cloth and tied with rope. The, the letters that survived due to the dryness of the desert are written on papyrus paper in three languages, Greek, Aramaic, and Nabataean. The letters are actually her legal documents. They include her contracts, her property deeds, her IOUs, her court cases, and even her ketubah, her marriage contract. This is, without a doubt, the most important find that can teach us about daily life during the second century in Judea. Here we are, two hours later, on the top of the mountain, Mount Zuya. It was a little bit of a struggle, but look how rewarding it is. The views are spectacular from up here. Babata, her son and her friends in the caves, are not aware yet of their faith. The Roman army, under the orders of Emperor Hadrian, are to build camps on the plateau above the caves. The Roman army guard the only way out of the caves, and eventually everyone dies from starvation and thirst. The Roman camps and paths are still silent witnesses to this drama. The ancient Roman path, called Ma'ale Ha'isim, leads down to the springs of Nachal Arugot. The final part of our desert hike is walking along the fresh spring waters of Nachal Arugot, which is part of the En Gedi Nature Reserve.
Nahal Ogot is a great moderate nature hike with pools, waterfalls, and great views, and can be done as a day walk from the parking lot all the way to the waterfalls and back. We hope you enjoy the, our tour today of Nahal Ogot and En Gedi. So please give us a big thumbs up. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel down below. Uh, please write a comment. Let us know where you'd like to go on our next tour of wonderful Israel. Bye-bye. Bye, Ditoot. -bye. Bye,